So what if we had a lot of data about people and we wanted to put symbols, point symbols on a map at particular locations? How could we put a whole bunch of information into one point symbol? Well, we'd want to use something that people widely recognize, like a face. And so um, what we're going to talk about here are things called Chernoff faces. And Chernoff faces are point symbols that we put on a map in order to try to represent several attributes associated with each of the points on a map. So if you think about it, as, um, as illustrated in this, in this diagram here, what we, what we would have would be a bunch of different things we could work with. We could think about how the eyes look, how the nose looks, how the mouth looks, whether it's smiling or frowning or in between, um, maybe the shape of the head, whether it's uh, whether it looks like it's a little more starved or or, um, or prosperous, all those different th sorts of things. But in the end, we would want to get an expression that at least draws people's attention to it, and if they knew what went into it, they would be able to interpret it. Let's look at a couple examples. The first one is an older map, a historical map from 1971, and this one's called Life in Los Angeles. So we can see in the um, in the bottom here, um, Gene Turner did use the the um, shape of the head in order to I indicate affluence. So if someone is well fed, they have a nice round face. If they're kind of uh, not as rich, maybe they're going hungry a little, and maybe they look a little more drawn. Um, if the unemployment rate rate is low, they have a big smile. If the unemployment rate is high, they have a uh, a frown. If the urban stresses are low, their eyes look like this. If the urban stresses are high, their eyes look like this. And then um, the proportion of white population. So the areas with higher white population are a lighter, um, a lighter color here, and the areas uh, with um, lower with lower white population are darker. And then over looking at the map for all of these places around Los Angeles, we can see a lot of these variations where the very happy areas are, and um, and where there's a lot more uh, a lot more stress or concern throughout these areas. Um, a similar map of Chernoff's face, Chernoff faces was recently made for um, London. And this one's interesting because it's almost more like a graphic. Um, these, uh, these various places in London are not meant to represent exactly where they are in London, but they're, they're concentric circles, maybe showing how far they are from the, uh, from the London average in the middle here. In this case here, the, um, how satisfied they are is kind of like a little halo around them. And that halo also has some little dots of uh, some little drops of sweat coming out in certain areas depending on how anxious they felt that day. Um, how happy they felt is represented by their smile or their or their frown and um, how worthwhile they're thinking things is is basically whether their eyes wide opened or uh, can't even bear to look. So in these examples here you know once again we're able to symbolize um, four different attributes onto a map with each point representing one location by making it into something that's easily recognizable by people and, um, and basically evokes sort of a response from them as far as uh, being able to understand how those people are feeling in these particular areas.